I am so excited to be here. Gay Pride is my favorite time of year. It is a magical time when hundreds of thousands of gay men and 12 lesbians come together as one, isn't it? It's fantastic. My only problem with Gay Pride, thank you for your enthusiasm, sir. My only problem with Gay Pride is that it falls the same week every year as my mother's birthday. Which is just God's little joke. Because my mother is sort of like the Jewish version of Martha Stewart, but without the warmth. Her motto is, it's a bad thing. So every year on Gay Pride we have this fight. She says, I can't believe it, Adam, I can't believe it. Wouldn't you rather spend the weekend celebrating my birthday with me and your father and your sisters and all of your nieces and nephews? Or would you rather go to Gay Pride, New York City? And I'm like, well, you know what, Mom? That really is a Sophie's Choice. I just wanted to see how the sign language interpreter did Sophie's Choice. It's not easy. But I said, it is, Mama, it's hard, because do I want to spend the weekend with a bunch of cracked out, over-the-top divas wearing ridiculous costumes, making lots of noise? Or do I want to go to Gay Pride? And she doesn't like that. She doesn't like that. I remember coming out to my mother about 15 years ago. It was difficult. Not coming out as a gay man, coming out as a comedian. That was tough. Because I had a very serious job at the time, you guys. At the time that I came out as a comedian, I was working as a producer for Fox News Channel. Yeah, keep it coming. That was a very, that was a very healthy environment for a gay, Jewish, liberal, pro-choice Democrat from New Jersey. I felt very nurtured working for... They were always going on at Fox News about the homosexual lobby. That's what they call it, the homosexual lobby. Like I would watch Brit Hume's show, he would say, the homosexual lobby is taking over. We have to watch out for the homosexual lobby. And I wanted to be like, whatever, Brit. You know? I've been to the homosexual lobby. It's at the Paramount Hotel on West 46th Street. And it's fabulous. Have you been there? Thank you, one person. Thank you for that applause. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I just moved back to New York recently. I spent the last two years living in San Diego, which is not like Three's Company. Don't believe what you see. Nobody ever came and knocked on my door. Uh, I moved out there because I fell in love with a sailor. Nothing for a sailor, an active military man. Come on. I'm telling you guys, he was young, he was handsome, he was an extremely petty officer. And my motto is, don't ask, don't tell, don't stop. So, we met and we fell in love and he said to me, Adam, if you move out there with me, I can probably get you a civilian day job working for the military. And I said, whoo. Because when I get excited, I become Marge Simpson. <laughs> it's very exciting. And I said, would I get to wear one of those cute little sailor outfits that you guys wear with the little Dixie Cup hat and the little black shiny shoes? And he said, no, you don't get to wear that. But all the military personnel that work with you would have to address you as sir. And I said, oh, I like that. I find that very ironic. And I said, well, what do I call them? And he goes, seamen. And I was on the next plane. But it didn't work out, you guys. We were just too different. We, were, we wanted different things. We would go, we'd go to the movies and he would want to see Transformers and I would want to see Precious. And there's really no middle ground between those two movies, is there? Unless, unless it's a Sandra Bullock film. We, we both enjoyed those. Thank you. Oh yes, give it up for Sandra. I don't know why, but sure. So yeah, so that didn't work out. I moved home. I, uh, I've been back for a few months. I keep running into people that I haven't seen in a while. I keep running into old friends. I ran into a friend of mine at Gold's Gym where I was working out. He was doing push-ups. I haven't seen this guy in two years. He's doing push-ups. He's got his back to me. I'm like, this is great. I'm going to sneak up on him. I'm going to surprise him. This is going to be a good bid. And I get really low, kind of crouch down on top of him as he's doing push-ups. And in the loudest voice I can, I go, Yeah, give me 50 more, you wussy! And he goes like this, and I realize it's not my friend. <laughs> Someone I've never seen before. And I'm like on top of him as he's doing push-ups. 
He goes, dude, what the hell? Which is my angry straight guy voice. Dude! And I go, what? I thought you could use the motivation. I gotta go. I'm not allowed to go back to Gold's Gym. Thank you. So, uh, are you guys fans of Lady Gaga? Yeah. She's not here. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. No, I'm a huge fan of hers. I love what she's done for the community. Gotta say, though, when, uh, when Born This Way first came out, I did think it sounded a little bit like Madonna Express Yourself. Just me? Alright, listen. If you're not familiar with the Gaga oeuvre, let me give you a little, a little snippet from Born This Way. Okay, Gaga, her song goes like this. I'm beautiful in my way, cause God makes no mistakes. I'm on the right track, baby, I was born this way. All right, that's the Gaga song. Oh, thank you, I have a beautiful voice, I know. Thank you, I'm gifted. Now the Madonna song goes, don't go for second best, baby. Put yourself to the test. Come on. They're similar, no? no? Wow. Angry Gaga fans at New York City Pride. Look, I thought they sounded the same, but Gaga disagreed. Gaga did an interview to a magazine about two weeks ago, and she started crying. She became enraged. She said, no way did she rip off Madonna. And she knows this because her song, Born This Way, was inspired by God. She said every lyric and every note was inspired by God. And then when reached for comment later that day, God said he wanted no part of that shitty song. God, he did. God said he's always been more of a Madonna fan. Because he and Madonna are the same age. And they're both from Michigan. My name is Adam Sank. Happy Pride, you guys. I love you. Good night. Ross Matthews, ladies and gentlemen.